G'day punters, welcome to this week's edition of the MacBet Early Move. We're previewing the gateway at Eagle Farm. I'm your host, James Milner. Joining me is pro punter, John McLeod. John, how are you going there in the uh, punting den? Yeah, I'm here. No rain at the moment, but there's, there's rain are coming. <laughs> it's exciting. Eagle Farm's back See after right. a bit of bit of time off. We'll talk about last weekend first. Hard Empire, nice bet there. Um, I know you recapped it last week, uh, sorry, on Monday in your weekly uh, Powerhouse Runners video, but $6.50 available. You were, you're up against Profit, which was, uh, not Profit, sorry, Jonker, which was very popular. Um, were you happy with the race, how the race panned out? Yeah, it seemed like it, it, it was working out perfect. Um, even on the day, we were suggesting that it was possibly going to be charging into the wind on those leaders. And that was going to make it a bit easier for a hard empire to get home. So, you know, the, the, the track played beautifully for it. And um, Jonker went a lot, went better than than I had it originally. Um, I sure. sort of was thinking that the uh, it, it may have been the wind assisted the other day, but I, I don't think I've re-looked at it. And uh, I think he's, you know, he's gone nearly as good as what he did that first day, if not, you know, so as the horse is flying, it's just the way the track was playing just was against it a bit. Um, it helped Hard Empire. So we got away with a little bit of luck that day. That was sure. Good. So you might be the real deal there, Jonka. Um, this weekend at Eagle Farm, there's a nine race card. The rail's in the four metre position. Uh, track rating's currently a soft five. You mentioned some rain. What do you think the track's going to do? Well, if the track handles, you know, the rain uh, as far as the wet goes, but it's going to make the inside part of the track um, go off and mid-track is going to be the place to be, I would say. You know, they, especially if we get a fair bit of rain, um, you know, they're, they're thinking, I think it was between 5 and 25 mils or something like that. So it's uh, it just really all depends on how much it comes. Um, but I, I, I really think this Seagull Farm track's a real momentum type of track at the moment, you know, it was a bit like what it was last time before the renovation. It was more, you know, you had to get moving and, uh, yep. and get up there and, and or get moving before the corner and try to hold your hold your momentum sort of thing. And you really need fit, strong horses. So if this rain comes, I think you're going to definitely need, you know, if they're 1,200 metre races, you probably need a 13, 50, 1,400 metre horse to, uh, you know, to really be strong over that distance. So... For sure. Look for look for those sort of horses that not you don't want to be on thousand meter horses trying for the twelve hundred first time. You know, that, that's, get, that's get found bad. out. Yeah. Yeah, right. Now I don't know all the details about what they did at Eagle Farm there, but do you know what they've sort of done to the track? I know they've given it a refurb, but I, I think they just gave it a rest and just tried to, you know, just liven it up. Um yep. I hear that there was a bit of sand on the track, which you know was surprising. Um you know, we don't want that, but um, maybe um, that might have been, that was a couple of weeks ago, or two or three weeks ago, I heard that. So hopefully it'll be all good. Um, but, you know, the, the track does play really well with the uh, with the rain. You know, it's not as if it becomes a bog. It just, uh, it becomes a, a bias type of track. You just got to get into the right positions. Yeah, it definitely drains well, that one. Uh, we'll have a look at this weekend, the gateway over the 1,400 metres. It's race eight at Eagle Farm. We'll start with profit, currently $2.30 in the market. Came from back in the field for some minor prize money behind the Herovian. Uh, it's an Anderson runner there with McGilvray engaged. What do you think about this one? I know you've been against it in the past. I have been, and you know, he, he went good the other day. Nothing wrong with his run. He hit the line good. It was just a nice run. Um, I, I can't knock this horse. Um, I just Eagle Farm is probably a little bit of a question mark if the rain comes because he's... He hasn't totally performed at this track, um, you know, or gone as well as what he has done at, say, Doomben or or the Sunshine Coast. So yeah, I think that's the little question mark with it. Um, so you know, it's there definitely. It's hard to beat because the way the the race is going to be run and everything. But I have got in the back of my head how it performs at Eagle Farm. All right, another one in the market. There's Panya Gua, six dollars fifty. Very very popular with the punters, looking for nine wins in a row. What do you think about this one? I think the class will find it out here. You know, it it, um, it raced in that country meet the other day, and he looked big, nice, strong horse. You know, powerful horse. Um, 
Uh, but I think, you know, this is a different class or different kettle of fish here, racing these horses, um, level weights and everything. It's just, um, it's a big difference. This is a race that's, uh, the winner of this is, um, goes into the Stradbroke. Um, yeah. Sort of like, uh, so what horses can handle a Stradbroke? I wouldn't think Panagria could do that. You know, no. so I, I think, you know, the ones that possibly could have profits and um, maybe Frosty Rocks, but you'd need a wet track for Frosty Rocks in a, in a, in a Stradbroke. So there's only one horse, is Profits, and then you've got to trust Profits. And he's one of those horses that are in and out, you know. And if he finds his, you know, his form a couple of preparations ago, I think, um, you know, he'll beat these yeah. as long as the rain doesn't come, you know. And so there's a lot of ifs and buts. I keep on sort of saying, if this happens, if, if this doesn't happen, and all this sort of stuff. So it's a real worry. Um, the, the way, beauty uh, of doing our doing our video on a Thursday, you sort of need to make a call now and try and yeah. hope that it's still true on the day. And yeah, you don't want to sit in your hands because yeah. no one likes yeah. that either. But last week you sort of you steered us into Hard Empire, but you're a bit unsure on the day. You were keen enough, so it was good. But yeah, um, I I see your top pick today uh, on Saturday is Frosty Rocks. It's two dollars thirty at the moment. Uh, Born Baker, Galloper, Glenn Boss engages. Are you keen on it at all from Sydney? It's going to be hard to beat, but again, there's a possibility that Master Jamie might get up there and annoy it. You know, he's a 1200 meter horse going to 1400, but, but he has got Michael Rod on it, who's a pretty quiet jockey, so he's not going to be coming out revving. Um, but if if Frosty Rocks does get annoyed a little bit by Master Master Jamie, which you know he's not going to give it softly to him, um, well then I would sort of definitely veer towards profits or or Petey, you know, but okay. if he does leave him alone, well then uh, that's that's the question mark of, you know, he might kick. He's going to head, have to head out to that right part of the track as well. He's going to have to get away from that inside part. So it, it is, a, you know, keep saying it, um, just a lot of question marks over this meeting and, and how they're going to play and where yeah. they're going to head to and all that sort of stuff. So it's going to be interesting. It'll be a good day for the late mail. You mentioned Wapiti briefly there. It's thirteen dollars out of barrier ten. Is it maybe a bit of a hope at rough odds? I think it is. The gate is a real worry if the track was playing good on the inside and and uh, and it wasn't wet. It it just have no hope because he's not going to get in. But if the track's wet and they're coming down the middle of the track, they put the blinkers on. He ran on quite nicely the other day. He's a nice horse. He's a he's sort of like a miler, eighteen hundred meter or so, fourteen hundred, looking for that you know, extra 200 at this track, he's the perfect uh, type of horse. So sure. he's the blowout. Um, you know, I, I can, uh, if I if I bet in this race and the rain comes, I'll be definitely throwing something on it, that's for sure. So I like this, I like the horse. I, I, he, he, he lightened off last preparation. He still kept on winning. This trainer's a good trainer. He's, um, you know, they, he hasn't fit enough fresh. And uh, I think, um, It'll race well. It'll race well. And for the punters at home, top selection, stick your neck out. Imagine nothing changes between now and Saturday and everything goes to plan. Uh, what would you be backing? Just a small bet on Wapiti or something else? I'd be I'd be probably backing Profits and Wapiti, both of those, yeah. and hoping that Master Jamie puts, puts enough pressure on Frosty Rocks. And Frosty Rocks, I think, has got the um, hoof filler on in on two, you know, so there's, he's got problems with his feet and, uh, yep. you know, the wet track is going to help it. So there's just a few little things about Frosty Rocks that uh, I'm worried about. You know, he's by your song, which you love the wet. Um, yep. So, you know, just, yeah, I'd probably rather go Profits and Wapiti to beat Frosty Rocks, I'd say. Okay. Look, the cracking race. There's been some really good big races. It's a great time of year. Everyone's having Christmas parties and, you know, getting on the drink and getting out. So, Really good, and we're looking forward to Magic Millions as well. Anything else from you, John, at all? No, just have a, have a look at that new yard thing we're going. I think um, yeah. you know, it looks good with the right thing. It, it seems to be the right type of thing we're going to start doing now instead of the audio. The audio is still going to happen. We're going to send it out on horses that, uh, or when the track is playing a certain way or something's happened, the wind is there, or we're going to send audios out, but we're going to use the yard thing with all our prices and the yard comments in there as replacement of the audio race yeah. by race it's going to have your yeah. units and all that stuff as well so it's good I, I think 
I think it's a good way forward. Saves you a bit of time. And yeah, we can get the units written out and, and you get the rated prices as well now sent before each race. And then there's also that comments box. And if they're sweating up or if they look small, um, it'll tell you. And naturally not everyone, um, not everyone can sort of look at their phone or listen to their phone every, every half an hour, especially on a Wednesday. Some of us have normal jobs. We can't be, can't be ripping the phone out every 30 minutes to listen, um, listen to the tips. So <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's a much better go there. Yeah, I think it'll, I think it'll work well. It worked well on Wednesday. We didn't find too many winners, but it was. Uh, I think it, it will be able to do something uh, going forward. That's for sure. Too good, and we'll have uh, the weekly results posted up on Thursday as well. We had a pretty good day Saturday. Picked up sort of twenty, thirty odd units. Um, but yeah, we'll have that up on our Twitter like we do each week. But uh, apart from that, John, thanks for your time and good luck Saturday. Yeah, thanks, James. See you. Everyone. Cheers.